Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bree. This is Cole. Hi. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing an impromptu DIY mug wall today. This is very impromptu. We literally thought about doing this maybe an hour ago. Um, and now we are off to the store to start the adventure. And this whole idea started based on um, this picture, which I will insert here, of this mug I just bought at Target today because I couldn't resist. And we realized we have so many mugs and we have some space on the wall to kind of fill up. And we thought a mug wall would be literally perfect. So we're gonna build our own mug wall today. Um, we looked at some stuff of like buying one, but they are either like really expensive or like really bad quality where like they're gonna break very easily and I don't want that. So we figured it should be pretty easy just to make it ourselves and it'll come out pretty cute and fill up a nice space in the apartment. And I promise this will be the last video before the big apartment tour. Uh, it's been months in the making, but the apartment is finally just about ready. Um, so it will be next week's video. I promise I will do the apartment tour. Um, but we are on our way to Lowe's now. Cole has drawn up a whole model of what we're gonna be building today and what stuff we need to get and all that type of stuff and did measurements like the whole nine yards. So hopefully it goes off without a hitch. We'll need to get some like um, two by fours, one by fours, some stain, um, hooks, wall mount, that type of stuff. Um, I will be more so supervising this excursion. This will be more so Cole's area of expertise. Um, but hopefully it turns out really good and we will take you along in the journey. Is this like your dream to shop around Lowe's? That's what we need, not that many though. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what we're going with. So, it's gonna be kinda like that color, I guess, which should match the cabinets pretty well. But. Oh. Cheesecloth. Hold the cheese. Cheesecloth? That's what it's called. Is that, that's the? The stain. It's not gonna seep through Four it. Staining, polishing, and faux finish. Use cloth. Staining, polishing, and faux finishing. All right. Well, if your hands turn brown, it's not my fault. It's fine. They will anyways. <laughs> Need a brush. A uh, brush. Oh wait, isn't that what that thing is for? Is, spread it on there. Like wipe it off. Uh oh. Uh, that worked. Might take a little while, but it'll work. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's get um wood or the hooks. Something. All right. Here's our little diagram. So we're going for. So we'll hopefully put six mugs and five, then six, then five, so it'll fit 22 mugs. Man. Um, so our list of and all the measurements. Looks pretty good. So like most DIY projects, um, we found whatever he was looking for and there's only one on the shelf and he needs one more. So I think he went to go ask someone that works here to see if they have more. I don't really know what's going on. And I have no idea what he's really talking about. But hopefully he finds one or we have to figure out another way to mount this thing to the wall. It's in someone's hand right now in the store. B, someone took it and put it in their pocket. <laughs> or, and we get there and it's hiding underneath on the ground and shit. He's like, it's right there. <laughs> Cole's getting mad at me for reading the directions on the stain. You don't always it, need directions. Because it says you need to sand it and use a pre-stain and he says we don't need it, but the directions stain say we do. Is, stain is stain, it's stained. It works either way. It gets the if job done. this shit done. wipes off <laughs> after we're done with it. That's not how stain is yet. I'm done. Follow me. <laughs> we're going to find wood. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Nah, I really don't want to use the hands Yeah. Off to the wood cutting area. Okay, we are finally heading to check out. Our wood is cut. We <laughs> took a while to find the hooks we were looking for. We finally found them and they are freaking expensive. So we're just gonna order some on Amazon. They have a pack of like 30 of them, which will be perfect. And we'll just get them there and finish it on like Saturday. So we're gonna check out. We'll tell you the price. My hair is about to die, so I'll see you in a little bit. What's the verdict? How do they look? I'm saying well, some of them look darker than the others. Yeah, so the one by fours took the sting a lot darker than the two by threes. It's just different wood type, but it'll be fine. Yeah, so we'll dry for a little bit and then we can put them together. And mm -hmm. then we won't be able to put the hooks on because those will come on Saturday, but um, we'll do that then. And then we'll put our mouths so our cabinets <laughs> are not as cluttered. Yay! Yay! All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it is day two of the mug wall um, DIY project. This is what I look like right now, wearing a cold sweatshirt. Um, we have made progress, so let's show you a little update. So, all the wood is stained, it's dried overnight, so it looks really nice now. Um, Cole screwed on these like little brackety things that are gonna hook into some other brackets or something like that. Now, we're marking it on the wall of where it's gonna go so that they're precise and that they line up in place or something like that. Yeah, something like that. So I'm thinking today, um, we're gonna put these things on and try and like screw things to the wall and like kind of hopefully, hopefully build, like build everything today. So that tomorrow when the hooks come in, all we have to do is really put the hooks on and then put the mugs on and that'll, that'll be it. So, we'll up to you when we have more progress. All right, let's see if you did it right. It's supposed to shift like that? Dang, probably trying. All right, we got one side screwed in, so now we gotta do the other side, but Cole just pointed out something that's oh, really yeah, gonna bother him. We've got two screws, two screws, two screws, opposite way. And it's gonna drive his OCD brain crazy. I mean, the mug should be covering it, so it should be fine, but I just think it's kind of funny. All right, we put it together after, apparently, he started putting the screws in and then realized not all the screws were 
the same length or we didn't have the right screws. I thought we bought screws, apparently we didn't buy all these screws. What do I know? So, <laughs> he figured out some way to make the screws work and then he thought the measurements were off. But it hooks onto the wall, so that's all that matters. Um, it looks great, we just gotta put the hooks on tomorrow once they come in. No, we're climbing? No, we're not gonna climb. Um, and we'll put the hooks on, which will be easy, and screw them in, and then we'll, we'll decorate it with the mugs, and then it'll be done, and then we'll have room in our cabinet. So, be proud of your work. Are you? Yeah, my handyman. All right, we are back to finally finish this mug wall. It is many days later. Um, we had to wait for the hooks to come in the mail, and finally find time where we were home together to be able to put them on the wood. But we are so close to being done. Just trying to line them all up and I was trying to make sure they're even because it'll drive them nuts if they're not. But we should have six, five, six, and five. It'll be about 22 mugs we can fit on here, which will be perfect. Are you excited? <laughs> The hooks are on. You just gotta make sure it's nice and um, into the wall. All right, I'm trying to put the first mug on. Yay! And ta-da! And we got a couple extra hooks. We got some mugs that need to be washed, but we'll have some extra hooks that we can kind of use and get more mugs or do whatever, but this is gonna create a lot of space in our cabinets to put other things in and it gives us something to put on the wall. So I'm super happy how this product turned out. Are you? Yeah. I'm excited. So yeah, that's uh, kind of in the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on my latest content or Realistically, our latest content. And <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at bgraph100, and I'll see you next week, Thursday at 6 p.m. for the apartment tour. I promise it will be next week. Bye bye. <laughs>